morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wendy here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator living in Narbeth, Pembrokeshire, Wales. Now, today I'm using my meadow because it's a letter, this week's alphabet is the letter M. So, I'm using my meadow, beautiful seed and building stamp set, and I've got four colours chocolate chip cookie, Corby clover, crumb cake, and seaside spray. And today I am doing a bigger card than normal because it's a scene building, I thought. So this is a five and a half by five and a half card. Now I haven't got an envelope this size, I don't think. So if I can later on in the video, I'll um if there's enough you know what I'll do is I'll come back later once I've got myself sorted and show you how to make a card uh, a card, no, show you how to make an envelope. Right, and this is Sheet of A4, cut down to 11 inches, folded in half to make a five and a half inch square card. Right, so here we are. Let's see if I can do it this time. did this the other day and I went on and on, I finished the video and I had a look and it had only recorded one and a half minutes. I thought, no, this can't be happening to me. Right, what I'm going to do, so I don't get to all no, not tongue tied because I always am tongue tied, but so I don't lose where I am and I forget to put something in and you know all that stuff that I usually I usually do. Right, there's all those stamp sets. Now then I'm gonna start now with the trees, okay? So I'm gonna go chocolate chip cookie. Again, check my block, there's nothing on there. And I'm gonna Stamp there, so I'm going to lift it, oops, i just dump it a little bit to the side because as you can see what it does then it makes you look, makes it look like there's more trees because everything in the front is usually darker than what's at the back. So there's those, oh my, I think I'll do another little batch of trees as well. Yeah, got a forest now, haven't I? Right, I should put these to one side and clean them after because I just realised no way. Oh, yeah, I'll clean them after. I'm not going to do that now. Right now, then, what I need is some grounding, and I'm going to use this stamp for the ground. I'm going to use crumb cake this time because I think I used it the, earlier on. But so yeah, just putting some grounding for the trees, and I'm stamping. And doing like two stamping so that I've got the double whammy, whatever it's called. Right, now then, I've got them. Now my bridge going to fit across there. Oh, it does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the bridge. I'm using this big block because it's, it's a stamping up block. And because it's got that groove, it stops your fingers getting in the ink. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I get ink all over it. It's like this, this is an old stamping block, but it, you can see the difference. So I'm going to have to try and get some more of these. There's a new catalogue comes out um, on the 3rd of June. So I shall have to go shopping again. Oh, it's such a hard life being a, a crafter, you know. Right, I'm going to put this bridge over this little gap. I made sure that the gap was there because I didn't want to have a bridge floating in the air, did I? Here we go. There's my little bridge. So I've used that one. Now then the sky. I think maybe I should have put the sky in first. But there we are. That's Wendy for you. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the seaside spray now. I'm just going to go like that. No rhyme or reason. Just... And if you go again then, you can have a little bit more... Uh, cloudy bits there. There we go. Little, little bit of um, sky. Ah, now then, what I didn't do. Will this fit on? Get off there. Oof! Yes, it just fits on. <coughs> no, I don't, don't want a bendy one. Do I? I want a straight one? That's another. Were you using a? Uh, Stamps like this. Try and make sure that they're 
they're uh, straight on the block. If you can't judge, use your grid paper. And what I'll do, if you order for me, then I'll send you some grid paper so that you can do it for yourself then. So here we go. Another tree. Check in the block. One there. And one there. Let's get another tree down. Never get too many trees, can you? Well, I don't think so. There we go. Right, now that I've got the tree, it's not that one finished. If I do it like this, you see, then I know what I have and what I haven't got then. What I haven't got. Oh, silly Wendy. Is that one? And that one for the... You know, the, the leafy things on the top of the tree. There we go. Uh, hang on, I've forgotten one of the greens. Uh, 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 uh. Getting out papers as now. Actually, that does look a bit silly on a big block. Doesn't it? Well, I've got a little block just the same, a little tricky, tricky one. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into the papers as and just dot them all over. And because you're double stamping, you're getting that extra bit of uh, secondary colour. Here we are, and I'll do the same over here with, no I won't, I'll do this one first while I'm finished. Now, the, now that I've done a bit of the paper size, I want to do a little bit of Kwame Clover as well, because not all leaves are the same colour. And I just give my stamp a quick rub really. Oh, look at that, see, nearly caught me out that did, didn't it? Good job I spotted that. Right, where's that fit on there? Wait, just look. Always try and get the right block for the stamp because if, if the block's too big, then you've got the, you might rub, um, wobble it. And if you wobble it, you get ink all over everything. So now I'm going to use this one. Just fits on there. And I'm going to work out which way around it is because we don't want bending down uh, leaves or leaves growing the wrong the not the way that nature intends them to grow do the same again here just dotting them here and there one there is blowing away in the wind then I'm going to go in again with the Corby Clover and just dot it around with it as you can see if the more stamping I do the more it, let me show you Right, one, two, three, four, and they're all different colours, so they, it's a fantastic way to add extra depth and uh, texture to your, to your thing, to your, whatever it's called, that thing. <laughs> right, now they're going to go in, because I noticed I need a little bit more sky down there. But I'm only using some of the stamp. I'm not using all of it. And I'm just doof off because there we go. Now then, oh, oh look, that jumped on there on its own. Good job, that's the one I wanted next, isn't it? Right then, this is a river. Now the beauty of this stamp is. It's, you know, when you're looking, looking at a river, the picture it always starts off white and then goes in, and it goes into what they call the vanishing point. So that's what I'm going to use with this one. Ah, no, the one green river. Did I go green then? Oh, no, blue. Just keep stamping and stamping and then because again river isn't uh, isn't just one colour. And what I haven't done as well is I've got some where are you? There you go. I've got some little birdies. What I'm gonna do I've got the memento tuxedo black. You try to get these birds again the right way up. 
going to stick a few here and there. Again, double stamp so it looks like the birds, there's some birds here and the others that aren't. The others are a bit further away. He needs a little bit more here, I think. Here we go. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put, stamp the block, uh, stamp the stamp, stamp the centre of it. And so what I want, if it hopefully it fits, I think this is, the word is yours. I'm just going to position that there. That's about right, I think. I'm going to pick it up with my block again, line it up so that you don't get a wonky one. I think my black ink is drying it out. So hopefully... Oh, no, first stamping. Try and stamp the first stamp or we stamp on a piece of uh, rough paper because when the stamps are made, they've got this little film over them. And what you do then by stamping off, or just rub it with your hand, just to break that film because then you'll have a perfect stamp. And by stamping up stamps, do or are very good like that. Um, dilly, 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 dilly. Here we go, the world is yours. And that is the perfectly framed stamp set. Beautiful, because you've got all these branches and flowers and, oh, lots of things. And I think that one then, that little dot goes on there and on there. So you could put your berries on your, on your branches. Right, now then, now that I've done the sentiment, I want to now, where is it? Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I want to use a little, a little stamp. No, that's too small, Wendy. Uh, these stamps cling very, ouch, very well to them. I know this is a bit of an oversized block, but uh, I want to get this one. Now, it looks like a cloud, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do like that so that I can fill in this space with the river. Over there the same. Ooh. And there we go. M is for my meadow. I hope you enjoyed this and have a go at doing it yourself. So thank you for watching. I'll be back later showing you how to make the envelope. So thank you very much. Bye.